So when we were working on the 825 Woods, really our main goal was distance with, throughout the line, driver, fairway, and hybrid. We wanted a club that was going to go really high, really long. So when you look at them, each one has its own unique face technology designed to deliver maximum ball speed to the, to the ball for whether you're hitting the driver, fairway, or hybrid. So they're designed to go long and, and very high and straight. So when you look at the fairway and the hybrid and compare them to the driver, the same design philosophy was in it, in that we wanted as much ball speed as possible, but we did it in a different way. With the fairway and the hybrid, we actually used a miraging steel face, which is a very high, high strength steel, delivers maximum COR for a very small surface area, because fairway and hybrid both have small faces. But not only was it just the face area, but actually the miraging seal goes in what we call an L face shape, meaning that it goes down onto the sole, so you're able to get some flex from the sole as well. If you hit a little bit lower on the face, you still get maximum ball speed. When you look down at this hybrid, what's nice about it is there's a lot of forgiveness built into a large footprint, but by making the face black as well as the crown black, it actually looks a little bit smaller than the head size actually is. And by, by making the score lines a bright white, you can see a big contrast there, and there's a large hitting area that's, that makes it just look very forgiving, very easy to hit. Right now I'm holding a 15 degree 825 three wood. It's a little bit more of a face forward design than we've done in our fairway woods in the past. What I mean by that is that there's a little bit more onset. That leading edge gets a little bit in front of, that, of, of the shaft of the ball. So when it gets in front of the shaft, you can tell that leading edge is going to get under really easy and help launch it extremely high. So as a better player, kind of what I'm always looking for in a fairway wood is something that sits down square behind the ball, but something that I know is not going to go left. That's kind of always been the death of fairway woods for the better player. At the same time, you don't want one that's going to go right because then hardly anybody can play it. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to set, up, set this up and see if I can't turn it over a little bit. That's kind of one of the benefits of this larger footprint is even though I tried to turn that over, I felt my hands roll as, as I'm making a hook swing, the club still just wanted to go straight. You could feel the head almost controlling through the ball. With the driver, you're trying to get high launch and low spin. The place on the club that delivers the highest launch and lowest spin is high on the face. The trade-off has always been though, when you hit high on the face, if the crown doesn't help flex a little bit, you lose ball speed there. So by actually softening this edge, you're getting that high launch, low spin, but you're not losing ball speed either. So you're getting maximum ball speed paired with those ideal launch conditions. Right now I'm holding the 10.5 of the 825 driver. And the first thing you notice, there's a, there's a ton of loft behind the ball. You can see a lot of face. This looks like a club that's gonna be really easy to hit. I mean, the sound of it is very powerful, and that's, that's an extremely high ball flight. It's a 10-5, and it launched it high, but the spin wasn't too much. You could tell it was still a powerful ball flight that actually wanted to fall down and fall normal instead of balloon up. So this is something that's a very low spin head paired with plenty of loft, which is a great combination to get you that high launch, low spin. My name's Chris Fochelle, and I'm part of Mizuno's Golf Club Engineering Team.